milky toners. Yeah, so this is a budding realm recently. It's got really popular, and I feel like they they keep calling us slightly different things. Mm-hmm. They some brands will just call it a milk, and mm-hmm. you're like, "What is a milk?" German. But then there are brands that position as a toner. Yeah, and I'm starting to realize that nowadays people are like, "Uh, oh, it's got low viscosity, so I guess it's a toner." Yeah, <laughs> essences, like yeah, it's um. But overall, the characteristic is it's very thin, watery still. Yeah, but it's milky. Yes, and that just means that most likely there's a little bit of oil in it. Mm-hmm. They've used an emulsifier, so it's giving it that milky texture. Yes. Um, we'll go through three, and these are actually not necessarily in. So I feel like these people must be like, oh, thank God it's only three in this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us if this is helpful because we are trying to, dab- we get a lot of questions about product categories. So we are trying to dissect it for you guys. But let us know if this is like too much. <laughs> and on that note, three toners. Three toners. Uh, first one is the very new, the ordinary Sarcomyces mm-hmm. extra milky essence. I don't know what they're calling it. But long story short, the aisle is very straightforward. It's uh, water, yeast extract, um, squalane. And then you've got your laurel glucoside, marisol glucoside, blah, 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 blah. So mainly the takeaway is you've got your extracts and you've got squalene. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, I'm going to blitz through these aisles because ultimately I'll just give you a sense of how they are. So mm-hmm. Bioma has their milky toner, which is an aqua butylene glycol, glycerine, dipropylene glycol, 1,2-hexane, diopanthenol, uh, metafoam seed oil. So that's their, that's your oil, oil component. Oil. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then your Fenty Fat Water Milky Toner Essence has water. It's milk, toner, and yeah, essence. Yeah, literally hitting every descriptor. <laughs> so you, I mean, you can tell they also are trying to figure out what to call it. So you've got water, propane, dioglycerin, squalene, glycerol, steroid, niacinamide, panthenol, coconut oil. And I literally have skimmed the top of the aisles. There's actually a lot more in all of these. Um, I think ultimately what I would say is just by looking at the aisle, you can probably expect the Ordinary and Fenty to kind of be more on the just slightly more nourishing side probably compared to bioma which is probably gonna be a lot lighter okay um so i think for me first of all i'm just gonna come out as the resident dry skin representative and say i actually don't like these for dry skin <laughs> which one is, it, is the wet blanket to your toner dream well to me like i feel like a water essence like uh, the watery stuff just based on segment one you there are situations where i think they can be helpful but this one I feel extra lukewarm about yeah. for dry skin people because they're not going to be hydrating enough, right? They're not going to have occlusives. At most, you're going to have lightweight oils like squalene is very yeah. popular. Metal foam seed oil is also a very lightweight oil. It's not going to be at very high levels. Like if you're concerned about the coconut water in the Fenty um, fat water milky toner essence bottle, coconut that's, oil, that's uh-huh. a really <laughs> mouthful. But if you're worried about, say, pore clogging potentials, I wouldn't even think it's in there at very high at all. Yeah. But the thing is, like, for me, it just, A, it doesn't add a lot to my hydration game. It's not enough to seal things in. It's not going to be hydrating enough to replace my hydrating um, serums. So add this for what? <laughs> yeah, no, okay. I think, to be fair, that's very true. You're, like, it. it's kind of a component that's just not necessary for dry skin. Mm-hmm. It won't accomplish much. It's, going, it's always going to be lesser than right. what you need in a dry skin routine. Right. And on top of that, you're never going to find a milky essence toner that's championing an extract in this format. Right. It's, it's always, always going to need water first. You're going to need a blend of a bigger water aspect. So yeah. um, because of that, I totally agree. I don't think this is for dry skin. However, for oily skin, this can be a lot more helpful. Mm-hmm. This can be that very thin nourishing layer before your sunscreen, especially during summer, especially right. if you're in very humid climates. Just enough, just a hint of moisture. Exactly. So I think this is who this realm is truly for. Mm-hmm. Um, and in terms of choosing between them, I'll be honest, I think it's it's hard to choose. And I, I feel like, you know, in this sense, I think like it actually doesn't matter too, too much here. Um, you're really looking at it more for that hydration aspect. So I'd probably be gravitating towards, you know, um, those that are looking at, for example, let's see. If I, the oily skin resident chemist, were mm-hmm. to choose between the three, I think, weirdly enough, I'd like to try the Ordinary's new t- um, Milky Essence. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. because I kind of get that like higher amount of an interesting extract that I haven't used. Mm-hmm. I get a little bit of squalling, and I think that texture will be fine enough for me. Also because a lot of my routine overlaps with what's in Bioma because they've got Bioma? How do I say that? I would um, say Bioma. Bioma? Yeah. Yeah, so... 
Um, they've got gluconolactone. They, I think I spotted ceramides in here. Yeah, they have ceramides and vitamin E. Which is going to be at such a low level. I guarantee you that that's not something I'm really considering. Um, they've got panthol, which I have in, honestly, Aquafix. Um, so in that aspect, I think there's too much overlap there. And then Fenty, um, one thing that I think you should note is they, it's truly a hodgepodge. I actually don't yeah. really know what my takeaway is. Mainly also, they've got nice cinema in there. So if you're someone that has no niacinamide, maybe this is the one for yeah. you. But other than that, uh, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm just, in, in a very quick decision, <laughs> I'm going to try the Ordinary. Yeah, I think just based on the IL, and I've tried these textures, except for the Bioma, I've never, never oh, actually, no, I've never touched the Ordinary. I've yeah, tried the new. Bioma and Fenty's texture. Um, I haven't tried it long enough to comment on actual hydration level, but just skimming the aisle fenty might give you the most hydration but if you're looking at it as a as a lightweight layer it might almost be too much because it has i also am very intimidated by the coconut oil yeah yeah, yeah i'm yeah. like oh that's not something you usually find in skincare nowadays right. um just because um there is some testing that suggests it could be a little bit more com comedogenic right obviously concentration matters but it's something i'm like i don't necessarily need it in my life so for that reason but all in all, um, hopefully, you know, with at least who should be using a milky toner, um, that's helpful for you guys. And how to choose, I think it really depends on your routine and what's right. overlapping. 